Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you about the latest from Nervosa, Perpetual Chaos, out January 22nd on Napalm Records. This album has 13 tracks, 44 minutes in length, and this is the band's four full length studio album. There's been a lot of lineup changes to this band. The only existing member that was there before is Prika Amaral on guitars. They now got Mia Wallace on bass, Eleni Nott on drums, and Diva Satanica on vocals. Now, this record is relentless. It comes at you like a blender and it blends you with every single song. It destroys you, it obliterates you with every single track from top all the way to the bottom. The structure of this record doesn't allow you to catch your breath at any single turn. Every song has a very similar output as far as the aggression and intensity is concerned. That doesn't mean that the album is repetitive because it's not. They change the construction of the tracks, they change the feel, they change how they mixed the different elements, how the guitars sound, how the drums came in, what is the bass doing, uh, the vocal approach, the dynamics within the vocals were different from song to song. So this is an album that has a lot of diversity underneath the hood. But the outcome that comes forward is always one of a very balanced output that has a lot of strength, that has a lot of power, and definitely a lot of heaviness. Not just from the overall structure that the album has to offer, but also from the soundscape that it carries. And that soundscape, it's really a blend of that traditional Brazilian thrash death metal sound that is alive and well on this record. I really felt that from the beginning to the end, you really feel that traditional approach that you get from Brazilian bands, specifically thrash death metal bands, is definitely alive on this record. The main difference with this album is that I felt that it was fuller. It had a more richer and warmth sound to it. It, it. it completed itself a lot better. So the songs are changing, the tracks are moving, they have different outputs, they have different outcomes, they're constructed in a different way. But the overall result, the overall sound throughout the, the record, the production on this album is absolutely phenomenal. The sound is balanced. The sound feels rich like I said it feels full you don't feel like there's one track that's perhaps a little bit more driven and then there's another track that has a little bit more of a baseline no this album is very consistent as far as the output quality is concerned what you're getting is going to be different from song to song but the quality of, of the product itself stays very consistent at a very high level from beginning all the way to the end then when you drive deeper into that sound you, there's two elements that are making it be that robust and that is the drums and guitars. If you look at the drums, they're creating an incredible bass line for everything else that is happening on this record. Coming in relentless at times, moving into the background a little bit to create more of a bass line, to create more of a foundation for the guitars, and really knowing the tempos, really knowing when to do one, when to do the other, when to move into the forefront, when to give the song a little bit more power, a little bit more kick, a little bit more heaviness, when when it needs to drop back and allow the guitars to push themselves into the forefront. They became a very strong tandem throughout this record. They really are the one-two punch as far as the sound experience is concerned. And I really feel like the guitars sound as good on this record as they do because of the drums. The, the drums really allow the guitars to push themselves to the limit, to push themselves to the forefront, to lead the way most of the times throughout the tracks and really be that beacon, that, that driver that sits behind the wheel and dictates where these tracks are going. But without the drums creating the necessary uh, path underneath it or below it, I don't think the guitars would have that sound. I don't think the guitars would be that rich, that powerful, that driven and command the attention of the listener uh, on every single song or almost every single turn. There's a few times, like I said, the drums push themselves for, to the forefront, but those times are very scarce throughout the record. You really feel like the guitars are the ones leading the way as far as the sound experience is concerned. Then the cherry on the top is the vocals. Diva has the perfect tone, the perfect delivery for this record, for this band, for the sound that they put together for this album. Having a few guest appearances on the record doesn't hurt. Shmir from Destruction, for example, he's in one of the tracks. I feel like it adds a little bit of flavor, it adds a little bit uh, of a different taste, of a different texture, if you will. But this album would have survived, would have lived on its own just on Diva's vocals. She has an incredible voice, she has an incredible approach and she brings intensity to the forefront. She's almost like a second guitar player 
but with her vocals. She knows when to come in, she knows when to fill in on the gaps, she knows the intensity that she needs to give to the song to match what's happening from a sound perspective, and more important, she knows how to get the most out of the lyrics. Really squeeze every single drop of juice that those lyrics have, add intensity, add aggression, add power to that presence, make the lyrics feel more powerful, make the lyrics feel more meaningful. So when you're listening to the song, you're not just listening to words that are coming together, that are stringed together in sentences. No, you're listening to words that have a meaning, that have an impact, that you feel it in how she's delivering them in the song. So I love her vocals. I think this album didn't really need any guests whatsoever because her vocals alone carry the record. But having a few guest vocalists here and there doesn't hurt either. It just enriches the overall experience. Now, when, you, when I look at this record, I have to be honest, this is their best album to date. I had a lot of doubts coming in. When you change this much of a lineup, when you keep only one existing member in a band and you change everybody else, it's very hard to put out a record that feels like it continues the legacy of the band. It's not like this band also had a huge discography behind them, so that perhaps kind of eases the blow a little bit. But this lineup is the best lineup that they could possibly put together. This album is their best release to date. I love the power and strength of this record. This album elevates the status of the band. It puts together a, a more polished output. This is a record that has a lot of experience built in into it. You could feel it at every single turn. Not just how the, strong, the songs were constructed, not just how the songs were delivered, but then you look at the overall production of the album, you look at the track listing, how everything was put together on this album, looked at the finer details in order to get the best out of every single song and to get the best out of every single member of the band. This album is nearly flawless from top to bottom. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I need to start off with Venomous. This is the opening track on the album. It has really heavy guitars and drums. They really work well in a pair, in a duo on this song, sometimes alternating, but sometimes really uh, coming together in parallel format in order to give the, the, the track this real robust, heavy sound from top all the way to the bottom. It feels like at times the way the drums are coming in mixed in with the guitars that your heart wants to come out of your chest. It, it, you really feel the strength from within pushing you towards the outside. It's really incredible how heavy, how powerful this song is. Uh, and then when it moves into the chorus, that's when you really feel it. That's when that presence is there. I felt that it's a, a great opening track because it has a little bit of a glimpse of everything you're going to get throughout this record from a vocal perspective, but more so from a musical approach. But it's a, it's a song that's absolutely relentless, has a lot of power, has a lot of strength. The, the the verses are a little bit more driven and then when you get to that chorus you really feel the impact of the drums and guitars and how they combine forces together in order to give you that extra push so a song that's very dynamic that flows very well has some ups and downs uh, that comes together with the vocals the vocals unify the track because the vocals are very steady very balanced from beginning to the end everything that is changing is changing on the musical side but staying very inconsistent with the vocals but a song that offers you a little bit of a glimpse in terms of what the rest of the album has to offer but also a song that starts off the album in a very strong and powerful way uh, almost letting you know that this is what you're in for with the rest of the ride next genocidal command this song features Shmir from destruction and I really like this track because it's an old school thrash metal song. It's an old school thrash metal song from the way it's constructed, the way it's delivered, the way it sounds, and the way the vocals were used on it. Every single of the single element of this song, in my opinion, screams old school thrash metal. I love how it sounds. I love how it's coming at you. Having a solo near the start of the song and then having another solo near the end of the song is a very old school approach. The, the track feels very simple when you look at the lyrics. There's not much there to digest, but that makes the song feel more catchy, feel more hooky. Uh, it, it has a bigger impact on the track. This is a very short track. It's under the three minute mark. So it comes at you fast and it goes away even faster. So having those two solos spread out almost Almost extend the song without making the track feel any bigger but it gives that old school vibe the vocals are very dynamic but musically the song is very driven It's pedal to the metal from the beginning all the way to the end last but not least blood eagle uh, I love the methodic approach of this song this is a song that has multiple speeds it goes slow it goes a little bit faster it goes fast it comes back to slow it goes a little bit slower then it goes fast it, it just has different looks as you move 
uh, towards the end of the track from beginning into the end. There's this stop and go feel. Uh, there's these more methodic, heavy approaches. When the song loses speed, it gains heaviness. When it gains speed, it loses heaviness, but it picks up aggression. It's a song that has a lot of different elements. There's a lot of different pieces to this pie, but it's incredible how they were able to make them all work together. Uh, considering how many things are happening, how many moving parts this track has, the song doesn't feel broken at all. It always feels fluid. It always feels like it's pushing you forward. It always feels like it's moving in one single direction. And that's really a credit to them to be able to construct a track that's this dynamic musically and vocally and then still feel like it's all together there, that it all belongs together, that you don't lose uh, your train of thought, that you don't lose uh, uh, the ride that you're on when the song starts to morph, when the song starts to change, when it becomes more methodic, when it becomes faster. I love the different mechanisms that this track has that always changing your eyesight. When you're listening to this track, you just don't know what's around the corner. You don't know what's coming next. And that keeps you on the edge of your seat. That keeps you engaged with the track. That keeps you coming back for more. This is it. This is Nervosa with Perpetual Chaos out January 22nd on Napalm Records. Let me know your thoughts on the new band, on the new lineup, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.